Okay, this is a letter from uh, Prepare OET. I don't usually work on, on photographs, as I've told you all before. I know that I will tell you all again text so I can make changes and add comments in the text. As I can't add any comments here, I'll just have to, um, to tell you and you can uh, make a note. So, uh, let me see. First thing. Right, we don't need a full stop or period after Mr, Mrs or Ms. Don't, you don't need it. Only if it's uh, superintendent or captain. If it's Mr, Mrs, Ms, it's not required. I'm writing to refer Mrs Hilton for surgical, well, right. So I would put an article for the surgical removal of her various coast veins. You're supposed to be writing grammatically complete sentences here okay your assessment and ongoing management would be highly appreciated highly appreciated by whom don't use this useless phrase if you look at e2 official samples nobody uses it nobody it's only it's goes round on the internet people use it it's pointless all that you need I'm writing to refer Mrs. Blah 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 for surgical removal of varicose veins and your ongoing assessment or something such as that. You don't have to do And why would it be highly appreciated? Why this, this adverb? Why? Okay. Mrs. Hilton is a housewife. We need an article. With two children, well, that's very nice, but what's that got to do with me? I'm the surgeon. You want me to remove her varicose veins. Do I really need to know that she's a housewife? Hmm, not really. This patient has a article, past history of having areas of redness over her, her varicosities. Is that even a word? Over her veins after her pregnancies occasionally. Now, <clears throat> is this after her occasional preg? Her pregnancies or is it she has she occasionally so she has a past history of occasionally having areas of redness over her veins after pregnancy so you need to rework that sentence put that adverb in a different place please note she was she's allergic allergic to penicillin drugs okay Initially, on 16th, blah, 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 I would always put her, um, put the name of a patient, person, at the beginning of a paragraph, and then use uh, pronouns later. Initially, Mrs. Hilton presented, why we got with, with, with pain and edema, in both her lower limbs, which got, got, which uh, was or became, aggravated on walking or after walking i'm not sure it's on or after on examination she had multiple varicose veins and healthy overlying skin now in addition morris's coffin pulse test was positive now this doesn't seem to fit here so you're talking about her legs and oh and by the way she had a cough impulse test in addition so i will put that afterwards so group like-minded information okay multiple veins my diagnosis was but there's oh um now this cough impulse test i don't know if it's got anything to do with varicose veins uh possibly not so i would have put it afterwards so don't break your information up so you talk about the veins skin my diagnosis was blah 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 now why is this passive Provisional, so a provisional diagnosis blah, 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 was made. Who made it? Was it you? So why not say uh, my provisional diagnosis was varicose veins, blah, blah, blah. And I advised her to do this. Why is it passive? Now, passive, it's okay when it's appropriate. Like um, if you're... A nurse and you're writing to a specialist and your patient's been in hospital and somebody's done something but because it's a hospital we don't know if it was a staff nurse if it was a the head nurse if it was a doctor 
then you know you can use passive if we don't actually know but if you're the one performing the action why don't you simply say so my provisional diagnosis but in any case we need an article or a pronoun in front of diagnosis because it's countable if you diagnose someone that is a singular event that can be counted so you need an article or a pronoun so uh, on the next visit after three days she complained of severe pain in her right leg which did not respond right which did not respond or was not responsive because it's in the past so i would use which was not responsive to analgesics her vitals were normal and examination of right leg was stable what the examination was stable or the right leg was stable upon examination or after examination so can you have a stable examination because that's what this seems to say okay but she seemed highly distressed well uh why is there a but if she comes in and she has severe pain then obviously she's not too not too happy you know <laughs> so there is no but because it's so right again grouping like-minded information right so why why did you put highly distressed after the severe pain which uh, would seem to be um logical oh doctor doctor i'm in severe pain oh and i'm so anxious well yeah you know so on the next visit after three days she complained of severe pain uh, in her right leg which uh, caused us to be highly distressed um the pain was non-responsive to analgesics however her vitals were normal etc uh for the clock sicilian for 10 days when the train were commenced you can use it for passive passive didn't you do anything didn't you take any action then why is it always passive review was planned who planned it presumably you so why not say so okay and you want a definite article in front of severity the severity of her condition on review after three days today or on review today now if you put the dates you don't have to say three days three days three days so why not simply put the date so uh on her next visit on the 19th on review on the 22nd she has improved markedly with decreased redness on the infected leg surgical option so again option isn't that countable so don't we need a pronoun or an article so, um, I discussed surgical options with Mrs. Hilton for which she gave her consent. Isn't that better than passive, passive, passive? And she has given her consent for same, for the same. Well, I, w I certainly would not write a letter in that way as a native. I discussed the surgical options with Mrs. Hilton. Uh, for which she gave her consent okay i would be grateful if you could take over her case blah 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 blah, etc so watch your grammar you've got some articles here couple of word order watch that occasionally put that ad verb don't break your information group like-minded information but apart from that that's not too bad okay i hope that uh, helps